Yo, but on my skin. My skin is looking ravishing and I only have sunscreen on. Oh my god, look guys. I got a little highlighter. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to Basics with B. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a conch piercing. Uh, I'm going to be getting a conch piercing right here. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of what it looks like. I'm very, very nervous. Um, I'm doing it here in Santon at the Black and White Studio. Yeah, guys, let's see how it goes. I'm quite nervous. Um, they're gonna be using a needle to pierce me because it's not it's a cartilage piercing, so they can't use like that nice and quick gun. Uh, yeah, I'm very nervous, guys. Wish me luck. <laughs> Not as bad. So I won't cry. Uh, I don't know your <laughs> pain threshold. Yeah. Uh, it's very quick. It's a very quick pain. Okay. Straight to the point. So I'm going to show you what I use. So I use a longer bar, flat like this is surgical silver. So Needle that he's going to be using. Hectic. How long is it? Just four. This is quick, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you a head position. Then you're going to be using. For me, it's the worst. It's the worst? Yeah. For me. 
just say the hard cutting is Yes. Okay, let's get it. Okay, I'm getting the helix piercing as well. Look at the swan. See? Isn't that cute? That wasn't too bad. Oh, I just did not move the other shoes about this piercing is that I can't sleep on this ear for like eight to nine months like while it heals and also I can't have like earphones I'm not sure about headphones but I can't have those things in because it's going to disturb um, the earrings move it around and yeah we can't have that and needs to like fully heal so at the end like after it heals fully I'm gonna replace the piercings with um, rings so you have to start with like studs and not so that the piercing can like heal yeah yeah hey guys so i just wanted to give you guys an update before i start editing this video um so it's the next day um and the ear is doing okay i'm loving it um but it is still sore it's still really sore like especially like if i touch it like by mistake when i'm when i'm trying to put on a hat beanie scarf whatever it is like it's really so even when i put on my glasses um it's a bit sore oh yeah the other thing is that like sleeping was a bit hard i had to be like creative when i got like my when my one side was tired i had to like sleep up so yeah before you get it just note that that's gonna be your life for a couple of months <laughs> um and just in terms of k i don't know if you guys heard um the guy and by the way i'm so sorry for the sound i didn't realize like just how loud um that studio is uh, until i listened to the videos later on that you could barely hear him um you could sometimes not hear me um so, so i'm so sorry about that but anyway 
So the guy who pierced my ears, um, his name is Tato. He said that I should like, but after a week, I should use the foam, yeah, Protex you near know, the soap, and uh, to clean it around. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that, but maybe not all the time. But I'm going to be using uh the saline saline solution. I actually got that solution when I was piercing uh these earlobes uh, earlier this year. Um. But I don't know if they sell it like at the pharmacies, but they should because it's just it's literally just um deionized water and sodium chloride. I want to look for it just in case like this one finishes. Um, but if that isn't available, I'm gonna just use this solution to um, refill the bottle. Um, it's my contact lens solution, and I think it would pretty much work the same, and it doesn't sting at all. This you can get at Clicks or Discam. So which is really great a lot of people online were suggesting um this solution so that's why i'm going to be using it and obviously also cleaning it with the protex soap and i'm just gonna see how that goes and if my ear reacts to it in any way because obviously i don't want it to like sting or have an infection or anything like that yeah so that's about it i hope this was informative i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you guys are if you guys have experienced um these piercings please let me know how it went with you if you had any infections how painful it was and if this was the sign you needed to have to get those piercings let me know too i hope this was the sign you needed because i mean piercings are fun and life is too short anyway guys um i hope you guys have a really great great week have a great great august um wishing you guys a lot of money a lot of good emails a lot of good vibes please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm really hoping to get to a thousand subscribers so please 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 if you haven't subscribed yet please let me please subscribe and if you're a new subscriber hi hi <laughs> all right <laughs> bye guys